Okay, how to get diagnosed with vestibular migraine. So my journey was, in 2018, I had a really severe episode or migraine that felt like I'd had a stroke. And I don't know what a stroke feels like, but basically it was the worst cognitive delay. I couldn't put pen to paper. Obviously the sensitivity to light and hearing and um, really severe vertigo, like even laying down, closing my eyes, feeling like I was rolling off the bed. Um, and it's quite scary to experience that severe for the first time. I'd had those kind of symptoms before, um, but they generally lasted a week and I didn't really know what was happening to me and it would just come good. I'm now 32 and the episodes were lasting longer. So that one I had in 2018, it lasted for three months. And in that time I'd seen my GP, um, other GPs at bulk billing clinics because my GP is really damn hard to get into and physios and finally um, as I said my GP uh, referred me to neurology unit at my local hospital just through the public system so I could have an MRI to make sure there was nothing further nothing else attributing to these symptoms so once I had my MRI I was then referred to neurology unit and the symptom sorry the scans came back clear so I was diagnosed with vestibular migraine um, it's still very or still not a well-known diagnosis I think especially in Australia so that's why I'm doing these videos I, I felt like I could find resources or I could find other people around the world making videos about VM but no Aussies so where do you go what do you do so there is a place in Adelaide, I don't know too much about it. I haven't got to the point of needing to go there. So the neurologist put me on medication. They prescribed amitriptyline, which I think is like the most common one that goes to migraine sufferers. Um, they put me on a starting dose of five mil milligram and went up to 10. That was over the course of six weeks. So slowly my headache started going away, the dizziness slowly slowly got better um many crying episodes in between thinking why me is this ever going to go away um and finally it did um, i think it was probably a full 12 weeks um which seems like a long time but um you soon forget about it about the hell you were going through um so that's how i got diagnosed so start with your gp if the GP says it's anxiety, which likely they will, um, don't settle for that. Find a GP that will, or push your GP that will send you to neurology to have that scan, to have that peace of mind. And regardless of whether you're officially diagnosed or not, it's good to have peace of mind that it's nothing else. Um, so from there, you can then find solutions on things you can do to help so for me it was medication and time just time and patience um, it came good so I kind of forgot about it but I've since had another bout um, really bad this week so that's why I'm making these videos because I'd kind of forgotten about it I knew I knew that I had VM and when I fell out of routine and maybe lost some sleep or um, fell out of exercise routine, I the symptoms start coming back. So it's all about routine. Um, but for some reason, I've had a flare up this week. I had a really bad migraine. And so I'm back to being that drunk, ditzy head. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, that's how I got diagnosed. And the next video I'm going to make is um, things that help, um, things that you can do even without being diagnosed. So follow me on number three.